Hi everyone, Amélie Ferland and Caroline Ternon are the two international student advisors at Polytechnique Montreal Student Services Department. They have prepared a presentation on how to obtain your immigration documents and prepare for your stay. It's important to note that the information provided about the COVID-19 pandemic was valid as of May 5th, 2021, when this video was created. This information is subject to change without notice and could be different when you arrive in the fall of 2021. The purpose of today's presentation is to help you understand the information presented on government websites. However, if there is a difference between this presentation and what you read on an official website, like that of Quebec's Ministry of Immigration, Francization and Integration, which we will refer to as MIFI, or Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, which we will refer to as IRCC, the official sources take precedence. It's a good idea to find out if any changes have been made since we recorded this presentation. In today's presentation, we'll focus on two main topics. First, we will look at the immigration procedures you need to complete once you receive a letter of acceptance from Polytechnique Montreal. These procedures apply to students admitted to a bachelor's program, including the preparatory year, a DESS, a professional master's program, a research-based master's program, a PhD program, or a double degree program. The procedure is different for, for students doing an exchange program for one term only. We will explain the details about that a little later in the presentation. The second topic we will co be covering is your arrival in Canada, and specifically which documents you need to have with you and the current COVID-19 situation. In the coming weeks, we will be adding other videos and offering webinars through the GoPoly program. These videos will cover academic issues, insurance, and tips on finding housing and living in Montreal. You probably have tons of questions about immigration procedures, especially given the current situation. We hope to answer many of these questions during today's presentation. You need certain immigration documents in order to study in Montreal, Canada. We encourage you to start the paperwork as soon as you receive an acceptance letter from Polytechnique. If you have already started, be sure to keep the process moving so that you have everything you need to start as planned in the fall of 2021. On March 23, 2021, Polytechnique Montreal published an official message to inform international students that for the fall 2021 semester, all students need to be physically present in Montreal when their studies begin. This is regardless of whether your courses will be given in person, virtually, or a combination of both. IRCC issued the following notices. On April 27, 2021, IRCC posted a notice on its website stating that all complete study permit applications submitted online by May 15, 2021 would be processed by August 6. Complete applications submitted after May 15, 2021 will be processed as quickly as possible. That is why it's so important to get started now and make sure you submit a complete application as soon as you can. Few days later, IRCC confirmed that students can submit a study permit application with proof you have applied for a Quebec Acceptance Certificate called CAQ. For more information, see the link on the page. And on April 12, 2021, IRCC published a notice stating that it will no longer be automatically extending deadlines for submitting required support documents. However, IRCC will continue to provide deadline extensions for clients who are still unable to provide required documentation due to COVID-19 disruption. For example, if your local visa application center is closed and you cannot provide your biometric data, you can request a 30-day extension by explaining the reason. Now we will review the documents you need in order to study in Quebec. To stay and study legally in Canada, and more specifically in Quebec, you need first a passport issued by the authorities of your country of citizenship. Second, a Quebec Acceptance Certificate for Studies issued by the MIFI. Exchange students do not need a CAQ if they are coming to study for less than six months. And third, a study permit issued by IRCC. 
Applications for study permits submitted abroad are processed by Canadian visa offices, which are usually attached to a Canadian embassy or high commission. So why do you need two different authorizations? It's because in Canada, immigration is a shared jurisdiction between the federal government, so the country's central government, and the provincial government. So if you want to study in Montreal, you need a document from each of these two levels of government. Quebec selects first the international students it accepts, but Canada admits them into the country and grants them legal status. To enter Canada, you will need one of two documents depending on your country of citizenship. It could either be a temporary resident visa or an electronic travel authorization called ETA. If you're a citizen of, U of a European Union country, you will need an ETA. Citizen of most other countries need, need a TRV. Here we see a picture of a TRV. It's a sticker that is added to your passport. You will need it regardless of whether you enter Canada by land or by air. An ETA is an electronic authorization. You will need it if you're flying into Canada. The IRCC will issue your TRV or ETA at the same time as your study permit. You do not need to apply for it separately. Here is a step-by-step -step overview of the immigration process shown in priority order, along with the cost associated with each step. Under normal cir circumstances, completing all these processes take three to six months, depending on the country in which you apply. The COVID-19 pandemic has not affected the order of the various steps, but processing time can be longer than usual. So all international students need to complete the process shown on this slide, except for exchange students. The next slide shows a different process, which is only for exchange students. So if possible, try to get a passport that is valid for the duration of your studies, because your study permit and TRV or ETA cannot be valid for longer than your passport. If your passport is set to expire during your studies, you will need to renew it during your program. If that is the case, we advise you to look into the passport renewal process for your country of citizenship. Not all countries allow passport renewals from within Canada. You can apply for a Quebec acceptance certificate online. You will be asked to submit certain documents electronically through the platform called ARIMA. You can apply for a CAQ for studies as soon as you have a valid passport and an official letter of admission from Polytechnic Montreal. Your CAQ can be valid for longer than your passport. A CAQ can be valid for a maximum of four years. If you're not able to complete your studies within that time, it, it is not a problem. You can renew your documents from within Canada. So currently processing time at the MIFI are normal. So this step takes about one month. Once your application has been processed, you should receive a notice in your online account confirming that your CAQ for studies has been issued. Then you will receive your CAQ by mail. It will be sent to the address you entered in your file. You can use the, the electronic CAQ approval letter to apply for your study permit. So you do not need to wait until you receive the original CAQ by mail. If you're coming to Canada with dependent school aged children, so ele elementary or high school children, you will also need to obtain a CAQ for studies for them and pay the application fee. If your spouse is coming with you as a worker or a visitor, they don't need a CAQ. If your CAQ is not approved and you receive a letter of intent to refuse, we recommend that you contact an international student advisor at Polytechnic Student Services as soon as possible. They will help you obtain your CAQ. You will find their contact information at the end of this video. Under normal circumstances, you can apply for a study permit online, by mail or in person at a visa application center. Visa application centers are private companies that act as intermediaries between applicants and Canadian visa offices abroad. Visa application centers provide the customer service. They also collect biometric data from applicants. However, at this time, most visa application centers worldwide are currently closed due to the pandemic or are offering reduced services. So as a result, you can only apply for a study permit online. Closed visa application center cannot take your biometric data. 
We will discuss biometric data a little later in this presentation. So depending on your country of residence or state, the IRCC may require you to undergo a medical examination or provide a police certificate in addition to providing biometric data. However, because of the pandemic, appointments are not available in all countries at this time. It is worth noting that you can still apply for a study permit even if you cannot immediately provide all required documents like biometric data, medical exams reports, or police certificates due to, to the pandemic. Of course, you will need to provide the basic documents required for an online study permit application, including your letter of acceptance from the school, a CAQ, and your passport. Right now, it takes about 12 weeks to process a study permit application. If all goes well, we will, you will be issued a port of entry letter of introduction indicating that your study permit application has been approved by a visa office. You need to bring this letter with you to Canada. The letter allows you to obtain your study permit upon arrival at the airport. You do not need to submit a separate application for a temporary resident visa or an electronic travel authorization. These applications are processed at the same time as your study permit application. It is very important to make sure you obtain all the required documents to study in Canada before you leave. The process for obtaining documents is different for exchange students who are coming for one term only, therefore for less than six months. So prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, exchange students coming to study in Canada for less than six months didn't need a CAQ nor a study permit. However, new entry restrictions have been introduced as a result of the pandemic. In order for their travel to Canada to be considered essential, exchange students must obtain a study permit now. However, they don't need to get a CAQ. The passport information provided on the previous slide also applies to you, but you do not need to apply for a CAQ. However, the study permit information provided on the previous slide applies. It's important to note that when you fill out an online application for your study permit, you have to indicate that you're coming for more than six months. Otherwise, the system will not let you submit your application. That's because the online system was developed before the new pandemic-related restrictions were introduced. You'll be required to download and fill out a form, which contains a field for your program start and end date. Here, you should enter your actual study dates, which will amount to less than six months. IRCC has asked that exchange students follow this process in order to get a study permit. Also, some special information will appear in your IRCC account. So it's very important to obtain all the documents you need to study in Canada before you leave. You'll need to have the port of entry letter of introduction, which says your study permit was approved, and either a TRV or ETA, depending on your citizenship. Now, let's take a closer look at the information you need to provide in your online study permit application. In the CAQ field, you'll have to upload the letter you received by email from the International Exchange Program Department, which mentioned a CAQ exemption. This will let the immigration officer know that you don't need a CAQ because you'll be staying for less than six months. In your IRCC account, you'll need to answer to two other questions about your studies at Polytechnique. First, about the letter of admission. So you have to upload your admission letter here and about the exchange program letter. So Polytechnic doesn't issue a specific exchange program letter. We only issue a letter of admission. That is why we recommend that you use a colored highlighter to draw attention to the following information. So first, highlight admitted to the international exchange program at Polytechnic Montreal and highlight short program and highlight the four months duration. Once you've highlighted this information, upload your admission letter in the field for the exchange program letter. Next up, let's talk about proof of financial support. Depending on your country of residence, you may be required to provide proof of financial support when you applied for your CAQ and study permit 
or just when you're applying for a study permit. For students coming to Quebec, IRCC uses the financial requirements established by MIFI. Even though you're only required to demonstrate sufficient financial resources for your first year of studies, regardless of the length of your course or study program, the officer reviewing your application must be satisfied that you'll have enough funds to cover the subsequent years. So how can you prove that? If your parents will be supporting you, it's important to present various documents that prove that they have recurring income, such as pay stubs and an official letter from an employer confirming their position and salary. It's not enough to have a letter from the bank indicating their account balance, for example. You want the immigration officer to have a clear understanding of the financial situation of the person or people who are funding your studies. Don't forget that the immigration officer's role is to make sure that individuals who apply for a study permit can afford to study in Canada. If you've been admitted to a research-based master's or a PhD program and will be receiving financial support from your supervisor, you need to get a letter from your supervisor or department confirming the amount of financial support you will receive. In many cases, this amount may not be enough to cover all your financial needs for one year. So it's very important to make sure that from the outset, you have sufficient funds to cover your studies. If the financial assistance you've been offered is less than the minimum financial capacity requirement, you'll have to make up the difference and be able to prove that you have the funds. Each visa office has its own requirements for the type of financial evidence accepted. So be sure to check their instructions so that you submit the right documents. The Student Direct Stream, SDS, is an expedited study permit processing program for residents of certain countries. On average, you can receive your study permit within 20 days. This program is available to residents from Morocco, Senegal, China, India, Pakistan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. For SDS applications, you'll have to submit additional documents beyond those required for regular applications. Some of these documents are to prove your financial capacity. Among other things, you are required to present a guaranteed investment certificate, a GIC, of at least $10,000. GICs are Canadian investments with a guaranteed rate of return for a specific period. The funds are held in an account that you cannot access until you arrive in Canada. Here's a non-exhaustive list of participating banks. So there is Desjardins, RBC, Scotiabank, CIBC, HSBC. You'll, you will also have to prove that you have paid your first year of tuition. You have probably heard of biometrics, but do you know what they are exactly? So biometrics are basically a photo of your face and your fingerprints. This data used to identify travelers. You'll be required to provide biometric data if you haven't already done so in the last 10 years. For example, you would have provided them if you had applied for a study permit, a work permit, or a visitor visa. As we mentioned earlier, you can submit your biometric data at a visa application center. IRCC will forward your fingerprints and photo to the Canada Border Services Agency and the Royal Canadian Mountain Police. Your biometrics may also be sent to other Canadian law enforcement agencies for Canadian or provincial law enforcement purposes or to Canadian or foreign government institutions in accordance with Canadian privacy laws. More information about biometrics and privacy is available on IRCC website. As we saw earlier, right now, the only way to apply for a study permit is online. So this is probably how you will apply. When submitting an online application, you'll have to pay the application processing fee of $150 and the biometrics fee of $85. If you plan on coming to Canada with dependent children, they will also have to provide their biometric data if they are 14 years of age or older. The maximum biometrics fee for a family unit is $170.
Within 24 hours, you receive a biometric instruction letter with a barcode. Then, as soon as the Visa Application Center open, book an appointment. Be sure to arrive to your appointment on time and bring your passport and the biometric instruction letter. We have included a, a URL at the bottom of the slide, so click on it to see if your local Visa Application Center is open. As we mentioned earlier, IRCC strongly recommends that study permit applications be submitted online for the duration of the pandemic instead of submitting a paper application at a Visa Application Center. However, if you prefer to submit your study application permit in person, you'll be able to do so once Visa Application Centers open. You will still need to fill out the study permit application forms on your computer, then print and sign them. You'll also have to pay the application processing fee and biometrics fee online. You will need to book a biometrics appointment at a Visa Application Center. Be sure to bring all required documents to your appointment, including your completed forms, support documents, the receipt proving that you have paid your fees and your passport. This will allow you to submit your application permit application package and biometric data at the same time. The Visa Application Center will then forward your application and biometrics to a Canadian Visa office for processing. Of course, the information in this presentation is general, so more detailed instructions are available on Visa Application Center websites. And once these centers are open, you can contact them for more information. Important tip, um, if you, your CAQ has been approved and your local Visa Application Center is closed, we recommend that you apply for your study permit online. So don't wait for your visa application to reopen as this will substantially slow down the process and could even prevent you from getting your study permit in time uh, for the fall 2021 term. You should also proceed with an online study permit application even if the visa application center in your country is closed for biometrics. That way, once the visa application center reopens, you will just have to finalize your biometric data rather than having to complete your entire online application. In Quebec, the age of majority is 18. Um, since Polytechnic welcomes minor students every year, we wanted to provide information about what minors need to do in order to study in Quebec. If you will be turning 17 at least one month before your program begins, you need to provide the same documents as adults students when applying for a CAQ. For your study permit, you can also complete the same application form as adults applicants. However, you will have also to prove that you're able to take care of your safety and well-being while in Canada. If the officer has concerns about your ability to care for yourself, the officer may request that you have a custodian in Canada until you turn 18. So please note that Polytechnique Montreal does not provide custodians or tutors. Students who are not 17 years old when they arrived must either be accompanied by a parent in, in Quebec until they turn 17 or remain under the care of a Canadian citizen or permanent resident who lives in Quebec until they turn 17 or be granted emancipation by a Canadian court through what's called an emancipation ruling, which allows you to exercise certain civil rights and stop being under the authority of your parents. However, you'll still be subject to a few restrictions until you turn 18, like you won't be allowed into bars or allowed to drink alcohol. There are many possible scenarios depending on your age, so refer to the MIFI and IRCC websites to find out which forms and support documents are required for your specific case. Have you obtained all the necessary approvals from the governments of Canada and Quebec? If so, great. Now it's time to pack your bags. So before boarding the plane, make sure you have the following documents as you will need them to show when you arrive at the airport. So your passport, your CAQ, except for a student exchange coming for one term only, the port of entry letter of introduction, the letter of admission from Polytechnique, original copies of your official other documents like diplomas, transcripts, 
bring cash or credit cards and please note that there are ATMs at the Montreal airport allowing you to withdraw cash so you don't need to carry a lot of cash with you. The same proof of financial support you submitted with your application. The border services officer may want to verify that you have enough money to cover your studies. Even though your financial capacity was already assessed by the visa office, the officer at the airport makes the final decision on your admissibility to Canada. So they're the one who will issue your study permit and bring the address of where you'll be staying in Montreal temporarily or permanently. Canada has implemented a number of measures at its border to help reduce the spread of COVID-19 and its variants. The Canadian government has restricted entry to foreign nationals. However, some categories of travelers are allowed to enter Canada, including international students like you who meet the criteria indicated here. So you can come to Canada if you have all the documents required to enter and study in Canada, which are the passport, the CAQ for studies, and the study permit approval letters, the TRV or ETA, the letter of admission from Polytechnic valid for fall 2021. If your designated learning institution has a COVID-19 readiness plan that was approved by the provincial government, if you don't have any symptoms associated with COVID-19, if you tested negative for COVID-19 less than 72 hours before your flight departure time, if you reserved a room at a hotel approved by the Canadian government for your first three nights in the country to be paid at your own expense, and if you submitted via the ArriveCan mobile app the proof of your hotel reservation, a credible quarantine plan, your travel details, and more about people you may be in contact with. To enter Canada, you must demonstrate that you're traveling for essential reasons, such as education. So it's important to note that you are not allowed to arrive too early, even if you have all your immigration documents. The border officer may determine that you are coming for discretionary reasons if you come to Canada too soon before classes begin. That said, you want to give yourself enough time to complete your quarantine and get settled in Montreal. Give yourself a maximum of four to six weeks before classes begins. Your immediate family members may be allowed to come to Canada. Eligible family members include your spouse, common law partner, dependent children, parents, or step-parents. They must be traveling for non-discretionary reasons. It could be because you need help getting settled in Canada because you have a health problem or a disability proven by a doctor's note. In such cases, just one family member is allowed to accompany you to Canada. Or it could be because they are accompanying you or joining you in Canada for the duration of your studies. If this is the case, they need to have prior written authorization from IRCC confirming that they are exempt from travel restriction. Finally, they have to meet the same requirements as all other travelers entering Canada. That means they must be asymptomatic, have a three-day hotel reservation to be paid at their own expense, take a COVID-19 test before departure and upon arrival, and have a quarantine plan. If you are a parent or other family member of a student, please note that at this time, IRCC does not consider helping students get settled as an essential reason for travel. These measures change often, so we recommend that you check the measures and restrictions in effect before coming to Canada. At the bottom of this slide, we have included a link to a helpful infographic published by IRCC. It explains what happens when you enter Canada by air. So when you arrive, you'll have to wear a mask at all times. You will have to answer all eligibility and health screen screening questions. So bring your quarantine plan with you. You will have to provide the border services officer with all required information and documents so that you can obtain your study permit. You'll have to complete a COVID-19 molecular test. You'll have to pick up a test kit for use during your quarantine period and go directly to your hotel and wait for the results of the test taken upon arrival. 
Here you have a screenshot of the International Student section of the Polytechnic website. You will find important information about pre-departure preparations and much more. So we strongly encourage you to check it out if you haven't done already. The GoPoly program is your go-to source of information about the different activities, resources, and services offered at the beginning of the school year. In mid-May 2021, we will start posting information about the fall 2021 school year. Also, keep an eye on your email inbox in mid-May. We will be sending a series of newsletters to help you prepare for the fall term. The newsletters will contain important information and helpful tips on how to get the academic year off to a good start. If you have general questions about Polytechnic, your study program, or your career path, please send an email to gopoly at polymtl.ca. Our international student advisors can also answer questions about your immigration paperwork and how to prepare for your stay. In your if your case is complicated, please write us at scp-international at polymtl.ca. Exchange students should contact the International Exchange Program Department at étudiant.échange at polymtl.ca. And in mid-May 2021, we will be opening the GoPoly forum so that you can post questions. So thanks for attending today's presentation. Feel free to replay it and be sure to click on the links we provided. We wish you good luck with your preparations and immigration process. Thanks for watching and see you soon.